Hi guys, welcome to a beginner's guide to Anytype.io, your all-in-one platform for organizing your digital life. Whether you are managing projects, notes or ideas, Anytype is here to help you customize, store, and connect everything in one piece. So if you are ready to go, let's dive into the basics and get you started. First, you have to access the Anytype.io website by typing in Anytype.io. Inside the website, you will see this wonderful interface that shows what is Anytype.io, why use Anytype.io, and who created Anytype.io. But for this video, we're gonna be walking through the basics and we're not gonna include this information. So I want you to head into their site and then click the Get the App button, which is located in the top right corner of the screen. After clicking this, it will redirect you to the download page where you have to click the Get App for Windows. And then you can subscribe into their daily emails by inputting your email here, then clicking the Submit button. But for this video, we will be focusing first in the setup of your account. So after installing and downloading the application, you will see this interface, which is the main interface of Anytype.io. Once you are already inside the application, click the new vault, and then click the Get My Key. Now allow this permission. Now, I want you to click the show my key, or you can skip this. Then click next. Now, set a name for this Anytype application, or for your account. Then enter your vault. And as you can see, we have completed setting up our Anytype account. For our next topic is how you can create a project in your Anytype application. As you can see, I am inside my dashboard. And you can explore templates here in the gallery icon, but we are not using a template right now since we need to get through the basics first. In order for you to create a project, just click this icon here, which is below the bottom part of your dashboard. Click this plus icon and then select a project. This is the template of our project, which is obviously just a skeleton or a blank page. I want you to create a title for this. And then let's also set a tag for it. You can select this personal or pre-installed. So for this video, we are using personal. And just check it. And then you can also modify the background color of this tag, like pink, purple, or blue. So let's select blue. You can also add a cover for this, like this. And then let's click that again. And then you can also add a text. This is my first project. Next, let's talk about in this next topic, we will be covering the use of slash button and also how you can add relations. The slash button or the slash symbol is like this. Once you use this in a, in a project, it will open a pop-up where you can select these elements like text, title, a list, or a media. So let's try creating a relations using this slash symbol. So after typing in the slash, just type in the relations. Let's do it again. And it will show this. These are the relations that you can add to your project. Which is the author, the date, the description, and the last modification. So let's add a author. And then let's do again for the date. And as you can see here in my first project, I have added a text 
I have modified the background of the tag and also a background cover. And for a new topic, we have added a relations. You can delete these relations by simply doing this and then clicking the right click and then just delete this. Now let's head into our new topic. Now that you have a full idea about relations and how to use them by utilizing the use of slash symbol and also adding certain elements inside your project, let's make the use of back and forward icons that you can see in the navigation tab below, which is this. So let's set an example by clicking this author. As you can see, when you click this author, it will open this interface where it shows the description and the ID of this piece that this author has. Now you can go back to the previous page by clicking this back. And then you can also use the forward button by clicking it again. That's just a alternate process. Now let's talk about how we can fill in contents or details inside our project. So let's use the slash symbol again, and then it will show this interface. Let's say you want to use or add a heading. This is a set of lists. Then let's add a list by typing in slash thin list. Let's select bulleted list. First, second, third, and fourth. Now let's do it again. And I just want to show you the number of elements that you can add into your project. Just input a heading. And then use the slash symbol again. Let's say I want to upload a video. You just need to upload or paste a link here. You can also use this again. And then use a call out. So that's how you can add this series of elements with the use of slash symbol and also how you can use the forward and backward icons or buttons. Next topic. And as you can see here, we have completed our project details and our first project. Now I want you to add or create another task object, but how to do that? Click the create object here that you can see in the left side bar. By clicking this, it will add a task in our task tab. Click this and then set a title. This is a new task. Well, it's like Google Task. Any type has also a feature that is called task creation by the use of objects. And as you can see here, you can also edit this. And they also provide a checkbox here where you can check this once this task is already done. This task will be placed in the finished task. As you can see here, this is the title. And once you check this, it will be dropped here. It will be dropped here into the completed tab which makes any type one of a kind of task manager. So let's add another task. And for this task, let's add something that is in detail. Then let's add a cover for it. Let's change your layout, like a note taking task or an action. So let's add it back to an action since we are talking about a task. Now you can add a tag with it. Let's say personal. Just use the slash symbol that we talked about earlier. And then let's use a highlight since this is a work meeting. Here is a 10 at 5 p.m. As you can see, this is our first highlight. So what is the detail about this highlight? With the use of any type, once you press the tab, it will automatically be included or aligned inside your highlight. So when I add a text and then I press tab, 
the text that I am typing will be automatically aligned inside the highlight that I created. And as you can see here, we have created a highlight, a task, and also the details about this. And then let's head into our new topic. Now that you already know how to add objects or tasks and how to add relations and how to navigate to the finished task. So let's do the navigation of this task again by clicking this, checking it. And then as you can see here, it will disappear from our task once we have checked this. Or once we completed this, let's go back to our task tab and then click the completed. And as you can see here, the work meeting has been grouped to our completed tab. And also this tags is also grouped based on their personal or pre-installed title. Now that you already know the basics of how to fully utilize the use of any type, how to add projects, how to add tasks or deletions, which are the main building blocks of any type, it's time to use a template. As you can see here, I have talked about earlier that you can access the templates that is ready to use in the gallery icon. When you click this, it will show you a series of templates that you can use or install inside your any type. Since we want to save time, just select a template here and then click the install button. Now install it to your space. As for me, I am installing this to my Henry space, which is my main dashboard. So just wait for this importing progress. And then once it's done, you can now fully edit the details and modify everything inside your pre-finished template. So as you can see here, we have imported our template. So let's click this which is this community space. And as you can see, it introduced me to the readme section. So let's click this community space and it will show you all of the available tasks inside it. So let's select this community home. The community home is just a series of instruction or introduction regarding template. And it has already set a introduction section for us where we just need to add this and a community guideline section. So it does suit for us. We just need to edit this series of things. And then this system is good to go. As you can see here, there, there's also a example book that you can use for scheduling and even example cafe. So these pages are the series of projects that revolves around this community space template that we just imported in our Henry space. So that's how you can use or import a template and fully utilize the use of any type here. For the last topic for this video, we will be talking about widgets. As you can see in the left part of this screen, you can see Henry Space, Homepage, Tasks, and Collections. This dark hand series of elements are called the widgets. You can either add or edit them. By clicking the Add a Widget, it will show all your recent creations in your any type. So let's say I want to add the task widget. Just click this and then it will show this widget again, which is also this. So let's try to remove this by clicking the Edit Widget. And as you can see here, the widgets are now shaking and the remove icon is now available. Just click the remove icon and then the duplicate has now been removed. Next is let's talk about the settings where you can change your preferences. So click the preferences and then here you can hover anything that you want to change inside your application. Also for color mode where you can toggle the light or dark mode of your app. Let's say I want to use light and let's go back to dark. 
Then this also includes the pin code that was introduced earlier when we set up our hub and also our spaces, data management, and also the key. Lastly is membership where you can upgrade up to 99 per year or 299 per 3 years. So that's it. Just a wrap up as you can see let's go back to our dashboard and the basic things about any type is just the creation of nodes or project by clicking the plus icon and then editing them using the slash symbol by inputting this series of elements and also modifying using the background covers and such. And that's it. That is our beginner guide for any type that I owe and thank you for listening.